This is video about arbitraging with CPO futures. Arbitraging with CPO futures. What is arbitrage? Arbitrage is taking of two opposite positions in two different markets, which is one in cash, the other one in futures, in order to take advantage of price distortion or mispricing between cash and futures market. So if you look at this table, you can have two types of arbitrage strategy. The first strategy, you buy in the spot market, at the same time, you sell in the futures market. The second type of strategy, you start your transaction, you sell in the spot market, at the same time, you buy in the futures market. So arbitrage involved in both G, you start your transaction, you sell in the spot market, at the same time, you buy in the futures market. So arbitrage involved in both market, spot and futures market, and he takes two opposite positions simultaneously. Whenever the two price mismatch significantly, arbitrager should sell overpriced instrument and buy underpriced instrument simultaneously. Before we start our arbitrage strategy, you must check whether market convergence or mispricing. To check market convergence or mispricing, you must use cost of carry model to calculate the fair value of FCPO. So formula for fair value FCPO is equal to S times 1 plus R times T divided by 365 plus C times T divided by 365, where S is equal to the spot price of CPO, R is the interest rate, C is storage cost per year, and T is equal to days to maturity of futures contract. So how to calculate T, which is days to maturity of futures contract? In the industry, arbitrage calculate days to maturity of futures contract based on the actual calendar. For learning purposes of this subject, which is for exercise, tutorial, test and exam, the calculation of Days to maturity of futures contract is simplified based on the following assumption. So we assume one month equal to 30 days and then we assume arbitrage start on first day of the month and arbitrage close on the 30th day of the month. So this is example how to calculate T which is days to maturity of futures contract. Let's say investor plan to start arbitrage in March 2020 and close in June 2020. So the start month is March and month is June 2020. So from March to June, we have four months, which is March, April, May and June. So we have four months, four months times 30 days, assumption for one month, one month is equal to 30 days. So Days to maturity of futures contract is equivalent to 120 days. Types of arbitrage strategy with FCPO contract. So we have two types of strategy, cash and carry strategy and reverse cash and carry strategy. So we use cash and carry strategy when we found out market is an overpriced condition. Reverse cash and carry we use when market is underpriced condition. So overpriced condition is where futures price is higher than fair value. Underpriced condition is a futures price less than fair value. So if you use cash and carry strategy, you need to buy spot today and at the same time you sell futures. Buy spot here means you need to buy crude palm oil future, crude palm oil. At the same time, you need to sell futures contract for crude palm oil. So reverse cash and carry strategy is not practical because of involved short selling. So if the arbitrage want to sell spot today, arbitrage needs to borrow physical crude palm oil in the market. However, there is no company want to lend their physical crude palm oil in the market for the investor. That's why we cannot use reverse cash and carry strategy in the market. Now we look at example for cash and carry arbitrage strategy. 
As a professional arbitrager, a trader observed that at the middle of April, the spot price for CPO is RM1175 ringgit, while May futures are trading at 1265 ringgit. Assuming his cost of storage is RM12 ringgit per month and risk free rate is 5.5%, show his arbitrage profit, if any, for 250 tons of CPO. So first, we take out all the important information given in the question. So current spot price is at RM1175 ringgit and current May CPU features at 1265 ringgit. The storage cost per month is 12 ringgit per month. But to calculate the fair value of futures contract, we need to use storage cost per year. So we will multiply with 12, 12 months. So storage cost per year is 144 ringgit per year. The risk free rate given is 5.5%. Number of crude pump oil is 250 tons. So we can calculate number of futures contract 250 tons divided by 25 tons. So 25 tons is the size of contract for FCPO. So that's mean you need to use 10 lots of contracts for food for crude pump oil futures. Then we need to calculate number of days to maturity of futures contract. So in this example, arbitrage start in April and you plan to use me FCPO contract. Therefore, the arbitrage plan to close the arbitrage strategy in May. So your start month is April and then your close month is in May. So April and May, we have two months. From April to May, so 2 months times 30 days, that means number of T is equal to 60 days. So step number 1 for arbitrage strategy, you need to calculate fair value or fair price of FCPO. So fair value of FCPO, the formula is spot price times 1 plus R times T divided by 365 plus C times T divided by 365. So you plug in all the figures into the formula so you get the fair value is equivalent to RM1209 ringgit and 29 cents. Step number two, you need to compare with current futures price of crude palm oil. So the fair price calculated is 1209.29. 29 cents the current may CPO futures price at 1265 so when you compare the futures price is higher than fair value that's been overpriced condition overpriced condition we need to use cash and carry strategy so cash and carry strategy you need to buy spot sell futures simultaneously so buy spot, that's mean you need to buy 250 ton of CPO at spot market today. At the same time, you need to sell 10 May CPO futures contract at futures market today. So arbitrage is the speculator. So speculator, they don't have money to buy 250 ton of CPO in the spot market today. So investor needs or arbitrage needs to borrow at least free rate of 5.5% in order to buy 250 ton of CPO at spot market today. So step number three, you need to prepare your arbitrage table. So arbitrage table is a table where you outline in detail all your arbitrage transaction for your strategy. So we have two columns, spot market and futures market because arbitrage involved in spot and futures market. So today in April, in spot market, you buy 250 ton of physical CPO from spot market at price 1175. So the total cost is 1175 times 250 tons of CPO. So you get 293,750 ringgit. So arbitrage needs to borrow 293,750 ringgit at risk-free rate of 5.5%. At the same time, in futures market, arbitrage needs to open position. He needs to sell 10 May CPO futures at price RM1265 ringgit. 
and then he hold his position from April till May. When May, uh, when it come to May, the futures contract expired, so he needs to close out his position in futures market. So for arbitrage FCPO, arbitrager will use physical settlement to close out his position in futures market. So to close out using physical settlement, he needs to deliver 250 tons of CPO through the MDCH for cash. MDCH is Malaysian Derivative Clearing House. So by using physical settlement, basically the arbitrager used crude pump oil that he bought today in April and then he closed out his futures contract in May. Okay, so if you look at this table, Today, he buy 250 tons of CPO from spot market. That's been he buy the actual CPO. He keep that CPO. And then, when the futures contract is expired, he use his CPO to close out his position in futures market. Then, step number four. You can calculate profit or loss from arbitrage strategy. So basically, you need to calculate all the cash flows related to the arbitrage transaction. The first transaction is a revenue from selling 10 May CPO futures at price 1265. So 1265 times 10 contracts times 25 tons size of contract. So the revenue from selling futures contract is RM. 316,250 so revenue is cash inflow and then we need to calculate expenditure for buying 250 ton of CPO at RM1175 so the cost of buying CPO is 1175 times 250 tons so you get 293,750 that is cash outflow because it is a cost Next, you need to calculate interest expenses for borrowing 293750 at 5.5% per year. So if you still remember, in order to buy a CPO in the spot market today, this arbitrage needs to borrow at risk-free rate. So you, when you borrow money, you need to pay interest expenses. So you calculate the interest expenses. The formula for interest expenses is amount borrowed times interest rate times T divided by 365. So T is 60 days. So we assume the arbitrage borrow for 60 days. So you need to pay interest expenses at 2655.82. So interest expenses is cash outflow. Next, you need to calculate cost of storage for carrying 250 ton of CPO at RM144 ringgit per year. Because we keep that CPO, we need to pay the storage cost. So 250 tons times 144 ringgit times 60 divided by 365. So you get RM5917.81 that is cash outflow. Let's move to the example for reverse cash and carry strategy. As a professional arbitrager, a trader observed that at the middle of April, the spot price for CPO is at RM1175 ringgit, while May futures are trading at RM1180 ringgit. Assuming his cost of storage is 12 ringgit per month per tons and risk free rate is 5.5%, show his arbitrage profit if any for 250 ton of CPO. So from that question, we can take out all the important information given in the question. So current spot price is 1175 ringgit. Current May CPU futures at price 1180 ringgit. Storage cost per month is 12 ringgit. We need to calculate storage cost per year. So multiply by 12 months, so you get storage cost per year 144 ringgit. Risk free rate as uh, at 5.5%. Number of CPU traded 250 tons. 
So you can calculate number of futures contract 250 tons divided by 25 tons. So you get 10 lots of contract for FCPO. Then you also need to calculate T, which is days to maturity of futures contract. So in this example, we start arbitrage in April and you plan to use May FCPO. Therefore, the arbitrage plan to close in May. So you start month is April, close month is May, which is the end month is May. So April to May, we have two months, two months times 30 days. So you get 60 days. So step number one, you calculate the fair price of FCPO. So you plug in all the figures into the formula. So you get the fair value of FCPO is at 1209.29. Step number two, you compare price and choose your strategy. So fair value calculated is 1209.29. Current May CPO purchase at price 1180. Therefore, Futures price is less than fair value. So when futures price less than fair value, it is an underpriced condition. So underpriced condition, we choose reverse cash and carry strategy. However, in practice, this strategy seems impractical because an arbitrager has to do short selling in the cash market. Obviously, no producers are willing to lend CPO to another party because CPO is perishable product. So you cannot uh, use reverse cash and carry strategy when futures price is less than fair value. You can go through the example question December 2013 question 3. That's all for arbitrage FCPO. Thank you.